By determining the optimum length, what we're going to do here, our blocker laid out, except for this first little portion, or last portion of wall, and it's approximately 8 inches. In this case, this works out really well because the increments of our ties on our block are 8 inches on center. So we'll be cutting a block that is roughly 8.5 inches long to fill that gap. And it can start, it can be anywhere in the wall, but we're going to place it right at the end and work back the other direction. We said we needed 8.5 inches to a filler to put in there, so what we do, the cut lines on our block are on one inch center. So you can do it two ways. You can count the cut lines or accurately measure what you need for 8.5 inches, which is right there. A regular handsaw can do the job. And we'll go put this filler in. We'll put factory side against the factory end of the block. And it'll sit just like that. Our next step here is putting our horizontal steel in. Uh, it's going to go in on the second clip on the working side of the wall. And as we go up, you'll see how we alternate our steel. But we'll take our pre-cut steel, put it in place. If the vertical dowels are in the way, just give them a little push. The rebar clips snap in. Now we're going to take our next piece of bar that was strategically placed. And this bar is going to now go on the second clip from the other side of the wall. Maintaining our overlap, our 40 times the bar diameter. Okay, and then our last one alternates back to the other side of the wall again. Now we're ready for the second row. 